Hi guys, let's start a new chapter. The new chapter is called solids. Now, in the previous chapter, we talked about two-dimensional shapes, and uh, now we are talking about three-dimensional shapes. In the previous chapter, we talked about uh, area and perimeter of plane figures. In this one, we'll talk about three-dimensional figures, which are basically solids, and we will talk about their surface area and their volume. Perfect. So now let's look at certain shapes of solids. We've done some part of this in class 7th as well. In fact, in class 8th also. So if I take a rectangle like this in this shape and I take a second rectangle and then I take a third rectangle and I take many rectangles and I stack them together, then the shape that I get is a three-dimensional rectangular shape, which is nothing but a cuboid. So this is a three-dimensional rectangular shape. It has a length, it has a breadth, and if I stack a lot of them together, it gets a depth also, which you can call the height or the depth, whichever way you look at. So it has three dimensions. One is the length of the rectangle, one is the breadth of the rectangle, and then the third one, which is the depth, which can also be called the height. Now let's look at this uh, diagram, which is here. In case I stack them the way this is, then the left to right is always known as the length. The depth is how deep it is inside. And this side is known as its height. So this is the height. This is a cuboid. Uh, what's the uh, volume of a cuboid? Volume of a cuboid is basically the capacity of this container. So if this is a three-dimensional container, which is uh, empty, which means there is nothing inside it, the amount of material which can go in, which is the capacity of this container, is basically the volume. And what's the surface area? Uh, surface area is the sum of all areas, sum of areas of all surfaces. Now, how many surfaces does this have? So let's look at this. This is surface one, which is the floor. This is surface two, which is the roof. This is surface three, which is the left wall. This is surface four, which is the right wall. This is surface 5, which is the back wall, and surface 6 is in the front, which if I can, uh, which is from where we are looking at in the cuboid. So if you want to all ever look at a three-dimensional shape, look at the room that you are in. There are six walls, not six walls, four walls, one floor, and one ceiling. That's six faces of a cuboid. <clears throat> Now, in case I do the same thing with a square, which means if the length and the width is the same and I stack cubes on top of each other, what I, sorry, if I stack squares on top of each other, what I get is a cube. So this is basically a cube where length, breadth and height are equal. So L is equal to B is equal to H. In this case, we usually call instead of length, breadth and height, we call it an edge. So this is the this is one edge, this is the second edge, and this is the third edge. Perfect. Now let's look at some formula which we've done earlier as well. So for a cuboid, what's the volume? Volume is length into breadth into height. Done. Like I said, a cuboid has six faces, and each face is a rectangle. Each face is a rectangle. Perfect. Next. Uh, what is the total surface area? Since there are six surfaces, let's look at the surface area of the base. The surface area of the base, which is a rectangle, would be length into depth or breadth. So this is length into breadth for phase one. What will be the area of the uh, roof, which will also be length into breadth? So this is two times it. What will be the area of the right hand side face? This is depth into height. So this is breadth into height and this will be the same thing for the surface here which is the left wall so this is, is again two and what is the area of the back wall which is this wall this is length into height so length into height which will be the same area as the area of the front wall from where we are looking into this cuboid so this is it if I write this in the form of a formula, this will be 2 times LB plus LH plus BH. So 2 times length into breadth plus length into height plus breadth into height. That's the total surface area. And that brings me to one more thing, lateral surface area. What is lateral surface area? Lateral surface area is the sum of area of 
four walls. So remove the floor, remove the ceiling, and this is the area. Also, this is also known as the lateral surface area. And the formula for this, which you can calculate, would be two times length plus breadth into height, which is basically two LH plus two BH. Perfect. Uh, this is what has been shown here. This is BA two H for the left side face. This is front face L into H. This is back face again L into H. This is right side face, which is B into H. So this is talked about the four faces. Removing the uh, base, which is your floor, and removing the ceiling. Good. Let's look at the next one. What we talk about in the next one is, uh, like I said, cuboid. Done. Next, length of a diagonal. What is a diagonal of a three-dimensional shape? Now, length of a diagonal is in this diagram. I have, like I put here from one. Corner of the base to the other corner, diagonally opposite corner of the ceiling. So this is a three-dimensional uh, diagonal, and this is the longest rod. This is basically the longest rod which can be put in a cuboid. Now, how do you calculate this length? There's a formula for this. In case you are interested in calc, how to figure that out? Let's first look at the triangle, right angle triangle. A, B, C, and in this apply Pythagoras theorem. If I apply Pythagoras theorem in this, then I will get the value of AC. And then I look at the right triangle A, B, C. This is a three-dimensional right triangle. And if again this is a right triangle, so I know the length of this, I know the height, then I can calculate the length of AD, which is my rectangle. The formula for this is. L square plus B square plus H square. So length of a diagonal is L square plus B square plus H square. It is very interesting in trying to figure out the length of the longest rod which can fit in a room or in a box or in any, any cuboid. Next one, what is a cube? A cube has six faces, but each face is a square. So similarly, volume would be in this case length into length into L length, which is L cube. But uh, this is also known as H cube. Perfect. Next, what will be the total surface area? If I look at the same formula, then this would be six times L square. Some people also write this as six times H square. And what's the lateral surface area? This is four times L square. Some people also write this as four times H square. And what's the length of the diagonal? If I use the same thing here, in this case, L, B, and H are equal, so it'll be L square plus L square plus L square, the square root of which, which is three L square, which means L root three. So the length of the diagonal of a cube is L root three. Let's look at some questions. Question number one. Question number one says length, breadth, and height of a rectangular solid are in the ratio five is to four is to two. If the total surface area is something, find L, B, and H. Okay. So let the length be five x because the ratio is five, four, and two. Therefore, the breadth is four x and the height is 2x. What is given is total surface area is given. So the formula for total surface area of a rectangular solid, which basically is a cuboid. So total surface area of a cuboid is given by the formula 2 times LB plus LH plus BH. And let's replace or rather let's substitute values and see what do we get. So total surface area is given as 1, 2, 1, 6. Unit is in square centimeter. So we will take this as 5x centimeter. This is 4x centimeter and this is 2x centimeter. Perfect. So this is 2 times L into B, which is 5 into 4. That's 20x square. L into H, that's 5 into 2, that's 10x squared, and this is BH, which is 8x squared. So let's divide both sides by 2. This becomes 608 is equal to 20 plus 10, 30 plus 8, 38x squared. 
which means x square is equal to 608 upon 38. Let's try and divide 2 into 19 and 2, 3, 0, 4. Let's divide once again. 19, 1, 19, 1. That's 114. That's 19 into 6. Yes, so x square is equal to 16. Therefore, x is equal to 4 centimeter, which means rather x is equal to 4, which means length is equal to 5x, which is 5 into 4, 20 centimeter. Breadth is equal to 4x, which is 4 into 4, 16 centimeter. And height is equal to 2x, which is 2 into 4, 8 centimeter. Let's read the question and check what do they want. They want us to find length L, L, B and H. Done. So, good. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number 2. Question number 2 says volume of a cube is 729 cubic centimeter. Cubic centimeter. Find its total surface area. Okay. So, volume of a cube I know is given by the formula L cube or H cube. So volume of a cube is equal to L cube. In this case, this is given equal to 729 centimeter cube, which means L will be equal to the third root of 729 centimeter. Let's try and do prime factorization of 729. This is uh, 3 to the 6, 12 to 4, 3. This is 381. This is 3. 27, 3, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. Let's make groups of 3. So this is, which means L is equal to third root of 3 to the power 6. So if, uh, since it's the third root, which means I'll divide this power by 3. Therefore, L is equal to 3 square centimeter. Therefore, L is equal to 9 centimeter. Done. Now that we figured out the length or edge of each uh, cube or each uh, edge of this cube, we can find the total surface area. Total surface area of a cube is given by the formula 6L square, which means 6 into 9 square. This will be square centimeter, which is 6 into 9 square is 81, which means 6, 4, 8, 6, 8, 48 square centimeter. So, therefore, total surface area is 486 square centimeter. Done. Simple questions. Let's look at the next one. The next one that we do is question number 4. Let's look at question number 4. Uh, uh, well, let's read the question. 75 people can sleep in a room which is 25 meter by 9.6 meter. If each person requires 16 meter cube of air, find the height. So there is a room. Uh, perfect. So the base is 25 meter. The width is 9.6 meter. The height we do not know. And uh, 75 people can sleep in this room. One person requires 16 meter cube of air. Uh, let's look at this question. So we'll need to figure out the volume of the cube and figure out if one person needs 16 meter cube, 75 people will need how many meter cube? Well, that's what we'll figure out. Okay, so volume of the room will be given by length into breadth into height which is 25 meter into 9.6 meter into height let height of room be h meter done one person requires 16 meter cube of air Okay, so this is given and there are, it's given that 75 people can sleep here, which means 75 people require how much volume of air? 
75 people require 75 into 16 meter cube of air. This is a unitary method. One requires so much, 75 requires so much. So this should be equal to the volume of the room because 75 people can sleep in there, which means 75 into 16 meter cube is equal to 25 meter into 9.6 meter into h. Now we'll have to divide and solve this simple equation. Let me just erase this from here. So this becomes h is equal to 75 into 16 upon 25 into 9.6 meter. 25 1, 25 3, 3 1, 3.2 and 3.21 into 5. Therefore, height of room is 5 meter. Now, I have a big problem with questions like this. Let me just redraw the diagram that I had made. Uh, my question, uh, my problem with such questions is, will people be sleeping on each other? And will they be going all the way up to the ceiling? Which means, let's say one person sleeps here, the second person sleeps here, third here, fourth here. This is the floor, right? So there are people sleeping like this. Now, only these many people can be accommodated unless you are assuming that one person is sleeping on top of this and then on top of this and then on top of this and then on top of this. So I can't figure out the reason for such questions. But anyway, they exist. So I have shared how to solve them with you. Uh, please note question three is exactly the same. And that's your homework question as well. Good. So uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Be safe. Bye bye.